Hi everyone, my name is Jessica with Longform Studio. You may have been following my 30 days of learning to paint with gouache. And uh, today I am going to do my first impression of this Himmy Jelly Gouache paint set. This will give you a better look. I chose the Seafoam Green set. It is the Himmy Gouache 24 color 30 milliliter or one ounce jelly gouache paint set. I got it off of Amazon. There was a 10% off coupon, so it was like $29.99 and I got it for $28.88 after tax. It comes with a little plastic palette. Snap top snaps two sides only. When I had it with the palette in it, and I'll show you this again, I could see like a gap there, pretty significant gap on the sides. So, and then it kind of bows in the middle where it snaps. I'm not expecting it to be completely airtight. I have watched a few other reviews and people seem to be really successful rehydrating their jelly gouache, so I already know there's a solution if for some reason they dry out. Comes with a pretty significant set of paint brushes. Some flat, angled, round, That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paint brushes. I didn't really need any, but there doesn't seem to be an option to buy a set that does not come with paint brushes. It looks like I can store them in here. Okay, and then these are the little jelly pots. I think, I think I'm gonna need to dump it. Just to give you an idea, this is the white pot. This whole set was a lot heavier than I was expecting it to be. Um, it's pretty dense. Okay, these here. Trust fall. Ah! Okay. Okay, so there's our colors. So they're calling this medium yellow. Oh gosh. Huh. A little messy. Yellow green, pale green, okay, so grass green. This is jade green. I do wish that they had the color number or name stamped on the pot itself instead of the label so that if I ran out of one of these four shades of green that I would know when I was ordering. I mean, I can obviously just look at the color and see, but. Ooh, don't squeeze the pot too hard. <laughs> I had previously spent 30 days experimenting with Karen Dash um, gouache tablets. I got this set of 15 and it's significantly cleaner. Um, I feel like it was really versatile because you could kind of go more transparent 
like watercolor, although it seems to hold a lot more pigment than watercolor. Um, sorry, that was pale purple. This is sky blue. And anyhow, I'm curious to use these Himmy Jelly Gouache paints. So if you're interested in a comparison of the Karen Dash gouache paint tablets versus the Himmy uh, Jelly Gouache set, let me know down in the comments below. This was Acid Blue. They're calling this straight purple. Hmm, okay, that's a matter of opinion. I think it's uh, pink, but okay. I don't know how to pronounce this. Ponsu? Pon... P-O-N-C-E-A-U. Comment down below if you can uh, spell that out phonetically for me. This is deep red. Ochre, rose, violet, cobalt blue, Prussian blue. There you are. Lemon yellow. Here's a little teaser on the comparison between the tablet style or like paint cake style of paints versus jelly gouache pots where you have to peel open the tops. With the other kind, you just open it up, get some water, paintbrush, and you start painting. This is painful. Physic it's like actually <laughs> physically painful for me. They're calling this nude. I suppose it's one kind of nude. Not so much for me. I would say this is a like light peach. This is just uh, standard white. I've seen um, some other people do their unboxings. I don't know which sets they got, but um, I know at least one person got two types of white, like a cool white and a warm white, and I was looking forward to that, but um, this set only seems to come with one white, which is fine. This is Earth Yellow. Orange. Burnt Umber. Ultramarine. Black. Oh, I got the yellow. Oh. Note to self, we are currently troubleshooting our last pot of paint, which was the black. And we tried a different method by taking a, uh, like an X-Acto blade and cutting it. Do not recommend. Um, then the foil like partially peels off, but it leaves the like plastic underlayment area behind and then you end up finicking with that and dunking your fingers in the paint and making a massive mess, but we got there. Thank you. I'm going to go wash my hands and uh, then I think we will try some of these out. I got my hands clean just to get them dirty again. I'm looking at the way that they organized the paints. Uh, this is just the way that it arrived, but I'm not thinking that it is like the most logical order in terms of how I would want to like 
work with them. So I think I'm going to reorganize them a little bit and hopefully not make too much of a mess while doing so. Okay, so I just finished reorganizing my Himmy Gouache Jelly Paint Set and I'm much happier with this setup. It just seems a little bit more logical and I'm really excited to get started. I'm going to close this up. I'm not going to keep the palette in there. I think that would make a mess. And it's still open on the sides, but I think I can kind of push it down a little bit. So if you happen to order this set and it's bowing on the sides and a little open, you might want to just try playing around with the seal a little bit. It's not perfect, but it is more closed than it was previously. Thanks so much for watching. I am really looking forward to sharing this next part of my journey with you. Thanks everyone. Bye.